Our next couple is Tali and Chris. Hey you guys, my name is Tali Tati. I'm 22 years old and I'm just ready to get married. I had my fair share of meeting toxic men. And with my career, I tend to attract a lot of men that just want me just because I got a fat I mean, I got a big booty. Now I just want someone to just love me for me, not for what I have. I deserve someone who could look at me and say, you got a booger up your nose, instead of just pretending that they don't see it. I'm just ready to let my guard down and just show a man how a real woman gets down. I am a professional twerker slash singer. I have my own place, own car. So I expect my husband to have the same plus more. God came to me in a dream and said, I need you to go on my foot because your man is waiting on you with his sperm. Then he had the nerve to say, go make that family when you marry him. <laughs> so here I am. God, take me to meet my man. My name is Chris Williams II, and I am a finance manager as well as a restaurant owner. I want to be married at first sight because I want a woman that is not after me for my money. She's submissive, sexy, good in bed. A life without those things would be a sad Christopher with blue balls. They both want children soon. They're also both driven in their careers. I believe that they have the promise of becoming a dynamic power couple for sure. My heart is pounding, but I'm ready. I'm ready to meet my man. My man, my man, my man. So if she walks down the aisle and I'm not immediately attracted to her, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, you have also written your own vows. I'm gonna ask you to recite yours first, Chris. I thought ladies go first. Two weeks ago, I picked up my notepad to write my vows. I was excited and ready, but I paused because I didn't want to rush. Mm. Question is, where have you freaking been all my life? I vow that I will grow to love you like no other one has loved you before. I vow to let you share my closet space for your clothes. I'm going to cherish you and everything about you no matter what it is. Beautiful. Uh, it's my turn and I didn't write nothing down because I mean, I'm a good freestyler. So I just want to say, you know, I'm actually happy that I'm, I'm at the altar with you. It's, I'm happy to finally meet my husband. I want to get to live in your skin and just love you. And I don't really know what else to say. I just thought that shit in the top of my head. So yeah, let's just get married because I'm ready to make some babies. Repeat after me with this ring. With this ring. I wed you Chris for today. I wed you to be my dominant sucker today. <laughs> I now pronounce you are Mary. Damn! I just got taken out the streets just like that. Oh, but at least you got some nice full lips. Bring them lips over here. You may kiss your wife. I feel like I just got locked up. But at least I was married now. I was married now. To a new beginning. I feel like I got a bunch of questions to ask. Take it easy. We got a whole lifetime to answer some questions. So what what um what type of work do you do for the um, I'm an aspiring singer and a professional twerker. Really? God dog. You took that pretty well. I don't think you can handle all this heat fire that I'm about to bring. So what do you do? I saw my entrepreneur, so Okay, keep going. I'm the youngest uh black franchise owner of a particular brand mm. in Atlanta. I got me a little big time fella. You got any tats? Uh, one. When'd you get it? Last year, me and my ex, we got our names tatted on us. All right, Mafus. Marriage at first sight. What the hell is going on here? And I never had a chance to um, 
get it covered up. Chris, your ex has called your ex for a reason. Change the goddamn subject. What's your favorite dog? Huh? Yeah, my ex had uh, dogs. You just piss. You just pissed me off. The experts don't f up. I'm a damn rebound. How is eyes married? And I'm stuck in a rebound situation. I was engaged. My last relationship was a few months ago, to be perfectly honest with you. Are you serious? Uh, so you just here for clout, like me. But you really not trying to find love. We could have been clout stars that turned lovers. Just leave, just, just, just leave your ex in the past. We're already married. Are you affectionate? Yeah. Do you have a high stuff? My coochie hole is glued shut. For your info. Sorry. Are you on contraception? And I'm on what? Is that like a birth control or something? What? What do you think about Chris? Um, he's okay. He's just coming off as a horny dog. But other than that, I love that he's ambitious and stuff. Impressed with you, I really am. Can you give me some advice for this marriage to work? Working the hours that he worked. When he comes home, he's exhausted. He wants to be intimate with his wife. And he don't want that to be once a month, but he wants that to be <laughs> once you understand and grow together. He wants it to be pretty consistent, you know? So you're a horn dog, just like your son. Yeah, so there you have it, okay? Okay. I was engaged this year. This year? Yeah. Are you fully healed enough to start this new journey? It took me a minute to get over that. It was a healing process that I had to go through. She is probably the woman that I need, but not the woman that I wanted. I'm not 100% attracted to her. Like when I saw her initially, it was like, this is different from what I'm used to. <laughs> what you gonna wear to bed? What's the outfit? I, oh. I mean, I look sexy in whatever I wear. Give me a trash bag and I'll be looking like some sexy trash. <laughs> but I don't know. I might wear a t-shirt and some shorts. It's not a slight. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's okay. the question. That, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. He's trying to find a wife that fits into the vision that he has. You know, it's bad if it's not you. But if it is you, then it's perfect because it's like he has a plan for his life and his wife. And to me, he feels transparent. So he has a dry sense of humor. So he has an inappropriate sense of humor. He does, but you know how my mouth gets. I'm going to put his ass in check. Take your time. And yeah. I'm just wanting to see how he earns and keeps your heart. And to be honest with you, I, I, I don't expect there to be sex tonight. <laughs> I think that on paper, like, we are, like, like you're everything that I need. Okay. I don't think that the attraction is fully there yet for me, to be perfectly honest. This wide faced it, pit bull heavy popped my cherry Kool Aid last night. And then he tried to touch me again twice this morning. Now he's trying to say, I'm ugly. When I looked down that altar, I was not pleased with his face. But since we were married, I accepted that face. Why he can't accept me? What the hell is you crying for? I ain't never talked about my life as an adult with my parents. It was weird. I don't care. It's weird that you popped my cherry and you thought I was ugly the whole time. But you don't do that. You don't bring nobody's parents. Me and y'all son had a great time last night. Great convo, great vibes. And we had a great little moment. But now he's saying he's not attracted to me at all. And he haven't been since the beginning. So I just want to say y'all made one ugly ass son. Like I'm just, I'm from Chicago and it's a different type of code that we follow. And I'm from Philly. I don't give a damn about codes. I'm a snitch and I'm gonna worry about stitches later. I did not want to have coming into yesterday. But you talked about it multiple times. But I wanted to feel a closeness to my wife. Maybe, you know, I would generate some type of attraction. I get that you don't think I'm not attractive, but what the hell do you think you look like? I'll be scared to have kids with your funny looking ass. And on top of that, my homeboy said, how do you even engage in sexual activities with a girl that you're not even attracted to? So in my head, I'm thinking, you either for the streets 
or you got community D-I-C-K. My sexual life is private. I don't do and then go kiss and tell. I don't like that. Like, that's what I'm saying. I don't like and I don't like you. Next case, give me somebody new, please. Uh, mentioning the details of our um, sexual experience to several different people, it just makes me feel violated. Let's just walk down this aisle looking sexy. I don't care. It's weird that you popped my cherry and you thought I was ugly the whole time. <laughs> Sorry. I'm ready to meet my man. My man, my man, my man. Not say this serious. Damn. <laughs> hey, sexy people. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced.